It's bigger than a football field, weighs more than 2,000 elephants, and can move mountains, literally. Meet the biggest excavator ever built. Machines don't get much bigger than this. Deep in the mines of Germany, a monster of metal known as Bagger 2993 quietly rewrites what we thought was possible in engineering. This isn't just an excavator, it's a steel city on tracks designed to rip through Earth 24-7 with mind-blowing precision and power. In this video, we're going deep into the heart of the largest land vehicle ever built to understand how it works, why it was made and how something this massive even moves. Bagger 293 holds the Guinness World Record for the heaviest land vehicle, and the numbers are just insane. Height, 96 meters, that's over 300 feet, taller than the Statue of Liberty. Length, 225 meters or 738 feet, nearly two and a half football fields. Weight, 14,200 metric tons. Speed, 0.6 kilometers per hour. Slow, but steady. It was built in 1995 by German manufacturer Takraf for surface mining operations. And since then, it has operated in the lignite coal mines of Western Germany, silently moving mountains every day. At the core of Bagger 293 is its bucket wheel, a 21-meter rotating structure with 18 buckets attached. Each bucket scoops about 15 cubic meters of earth. That's like an entire backyard swimming pool in one go. These buckets rotate continuously, scooping material, which is dumped onto a series of conveyor belts that run through the entire machine. From there, the material can travel several kilometers to be processed or stockpiled. It's like a moving mine and conveyor system all in one. And yes, it runs entirely on electricity, over 16 megawatts of it. Machines like Bagger 293 aren't built in a factory. They're too big. They have to be assembled on site piece by piece. It takes months to build with custom parts, huge cranes and teams of engineers. Everything must be precisely balanced because one small misalignment at this scale can lead to catastrophic failure. Plus, this machine is constantly moving and digging, which means wear and tear is extreme. Regular maintenance is a full-time job. To keep it stable, it moves on 12 massive caterpillar tracks, distributing its weight so it doesn't sink into the ground. So why build something this massive? The answer is scale. In open pit mining, you're not digging small tunnels. You're removing entire layers of earth to reach the material below. In this case, lignite or brown coal, one of the most abundant sources of energy in Germany. Bagger 293 can remove 240,000 cubic meters of overburden every day. That's more than 100 Olympic swimming pools of dirt daily. It replaces dozens, if not hundreds, of traditional excavators and dump trucks. Machines like this aren't just about digging. They're about pushing human engineering to the limits. Similar bucket wheel excavators are used in countries like Russia, India and the US, where large-scale surface mining is still active. But here's the twist. With coal in decline and renewable energy rising, what happens to machines like Bagger 293? Some experts believe they could be repurposed for land reclamation, erosion control, or even building massive infrastructure projects like flood protection systems. If you're fascinated by machines like this, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of engineering fans, machine lovers, and tech explorers. We post new deep dives every week, from underwater cities to sky-high bridges. Also, leave a comment below. Would you ride in the Bagger 293, or would you rather just watch it from afar? The Bagger 293 isn't just a tool, it's a symbol of scale, of what happens when human ambition meets raw industrial power. In a world that often moves fast and small, this machine reminds us that sometimes going big, really big, is the only way to get the job done. So next time someone says we've reached the limit of engineering, just show them the steel giant. Beneath the heavy skies of Western Germany, among vast open pits that stretch to the horizon, stands a monument to human ambition, a mountain made of metal, a sleeping titan forged from steel and electricity. The ground trembles faintly around it, as if the earth itself recognizes its presence. From a distance, it looks like an alien city misplaced on Earth, a lattice of steel towers, rotating wheels, and endless conveyor belts. This is the Bagger 293, the largest excavator and the heaviest land vehicle ever built. When this giant awakens, the air itself seems to vibrate. A low hum begins, rising into a mechanical symphony that rolls across the barren landscape. The ground shivers beneath its tracks, and a thin haze of dust dances in the morning light. Massive steel arms swing in slow arcs, carrying buckets the size of living rooms. Each one scoops deep into the earth, slicing away millions of years of sediment with mechanical precision. Its movement isn't fast, just 0.6 kilometers per hour, slower than a walking human, but speed was never the point. 
What the Bagger 293 lacks in pace, it compensates with permanence. Every rotation of its colossal bucket wheel removes up to 15 cubic meters of soil, the equivalent of an entire backyard swimming pool in a single sweep. Multiply that by 18 buckets, each one working in perfect unison, and you begin to understand why this is not a machine. It's an ecosystem of motion. The numbers defy comprehension. 96 meters tall, towering higher than the Statue of Liberty. 225 meters long, stretching farther than two football fields laid end to end. 14,200 tons of steel balanced perfectly across 12 immense crawler tracks that distribute its weight like the feet of a steel god. It doesn't sit on the ground, it presses into it, reshaping the very surface it stands upon. From within its framework, miles of conveyor belts hum constantly, carrying the earth it devours. The belts snake through the body of the machine like arteries, glowing faintly in the dim light as they ferry thousands of tons of material toward distant horizons. Somewhere beyond sight, the cargo empties into hills of coal or barren plains of clay. Each pile represents a day's work, more than 240,000 cubic meters of overburden moved in 24 hours. More than 100 Olympic swimming pools of Earth, and all of it powered by 16 megawatts of electricity. The same energy needed to power a small city, channeled through wires and transformers to feed this mechanical organism. There's no roar of diesel, no smoke, no fire, just the deep electric growl of industrial rhythm. The Bagger 293 doesn't fight the world around it. It reshapes it with patience, with the slow, methodical certainty of time itself. Up close, its scale is overwhelming. The wind whistles through its steel ribs. Hydraulic pistons thicker than tree trunks extend and contract with elegant power. Each movement produces a low metallic sigh, not the sound of strain, but of immense, deliberate control. Standing beneath it feels like standing at the foot of a cathedral built not for gods, but for gravity itself. The smell is heavy with iron, oil, and wet earth. Dust clings to every surface. Sparks from welding flicker in the shadows, swallowed instantly by the vastness of its frame. No factory could ever build something like this. The bagger had to be assembled piece by piece, directly at the mining site. It took months of labor, cranes larger than houses, and engineering teams from across Europe. Every bolt, every segment had to align with surgical precision. One error, a few centimeters off, could have meant collapse. At this scale, precision isn't just important, it's survival. And yet, for all its mechanical might, there's something strangely serene about it. Watch it long enough, and the rhythm becomes hypnotic. The wheel turning, the belts shifting, the tracks inching forward, carving away entire hillsides as if they were made of sand. Its operators sit far above the ground, surrounded by panels of gauges and digital screens, their hands guiding this steel behemoth like the heartbeat of a living thing. The Bagger 293 was built for a single purpose, to uncover what lies beneath. In the lignite mines of Germany, it has spent decades peeling back layers of the earth, revealing the veins of brown coal that fueled a nation's industry. It is, in every sense, a machine born from the age of energy, a time when human progress was measured by how much of the planet we could move, burn, or transform. But time changes everything, even for giants. The world is moving away from coal toward cleaner, quieter forms of power. And that leaves the bagger standing somewhere between history and myth, a survivor of an era fading into memory. Still, its legacy endures. It has become more than an excavator. It's a symbol of human persistence, of our refusal to accept that something can't be done simply because it seems impossible. Today, when the sun sets over the Rhineland, the bagger stands illuminated by floodlights that make it glow like a monument. Its shadow stretches for hundreds of meters across the stripped earth, a silhouette that could easily be mistaken for a city skyline. From afar, the faint hum of its system sounds almost like breathing. The dust around it glitters in the artificial light, drifting slowly back to the ground, a reminder of everything it has lifted. Engineers talk about repurposing machines like this for the future. They imagine using them to rebuild instead of destroy, for land restoration, flood control, or even massive infrastructure projects that demand raw strength on a planetary scale. The irony is beautiful, that the same giant once used to dig into the earth might someday help heal it, that its wheel could turn not to consume, but to create. If you could stand at its base during a storm, you'd see something unforgettable. Lightning splitting the sky above, reflecting across its steel frame like veins of light, 
the rain hitting the metal with a thousand tiny notes, each drop hissing as it slides down surfaces still warm from friction. It looks alive, not as a machine, but as an ancient creature weathering the world it helped shape. The earth shakes slightly when it moves, not violently, but deeply, as though its footsteps echo through geological time. Even standing still, it commands reverence. Its mass alone defies comprehension, yet everything about it feels deliberate, almost graceful. The Bagger 293 doesn't rage against the earth, it negotiates with it. Every scoop is a conversation between man, machine, and planet, about how far we're willing to go to satisfy our hunger for progress. There's poetry in its silence. In an age obsessed with speed, this machine moves slower than a human walk, yet accomplishes more than an army of smaller engines could dream of. It reminds us that true power doesn't always need to hurry. Sometimes it just needs to endure, and when its motors finally power down and the dust settles, it will stand there, half machine, half monument, gazing over the hollowed landscape it created. Not as a relic, but as a reminder of an age when humanity thought in terms of giants, when we measured greatness not by algorithms or code, but by the weight of what we could move. Someday, perhaps, this titan will rest permanently, its frame reclaimed by rust and time. Grass will grow around its tracks, birds will nest in its joints, and the wind will whistle softly through its hollow beams. And yet, even in silence, it will still speak of ambition, of courage, of the audacity to build something that could move mountains. Because there are machines that work, and there are machines that define eras. The Bagger 293 belongs to the latter, a steel giant that reminds us of what humanity can achieve when imagination outweighs fear. The day will come when people walk beneath its rusting frame, marveling at its impossible size, asking how such a thing could have existed. And maybe as they stare up at its vast wheel, they'll understand what it truly represents, not just the power to dig into the earth, but the will to dream beyond it. The steel giant may one day fall silent, but the echo of its creation will never fade, because in every bolt, in every beam, in every bucket, lies a single truth that once we built something big enough to move the world, and we dared to make it real.